All right, here today we're going to talk about my favorite place uh, for real estate in San Diego. It has been for over a decade now, La Mesa, California. Local expert, Willem DeRitter is here. What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. From Compass. Um, loans, realtor. So we've got it all covered. That's right. <laughs> yep. Now, La Mesa is one of those places that for a long time I've been talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. hey, this is where the value is. Mm -hmm. Guys, Mount Helix, you heard of it, mm -hmm. you know? And, and if you had a million bucks to buy a place and you wanted something totally sick, that was definitely where you're going to get the best bang for your Big buck. Big time. Yep. It's caught on. Yep. People have caught on to this finally. That's right. Yeah. Mesa is really kicking up right now. Mm -hmm. And there's more stuff coming too, I understand, right? Yeah. So I grew up in La Mesa. I went to school there, but when I was, you know, in my mid twenties, I'm like, I'm never going to buy a house in La Mesa. It's old. It's not that cool. <laughs> and now it's the hottest ticket in town. Um, we own our primary residence. We live there in the village and we own investment property there. Um, it's just very unique and eclectic. And there's not many little cities within the County of San Diego that really are like that. When I, I lived there in 2006, 2008, mm -hmm. somewhere in there, my daughter was born there in mm -hmm. Rosemont in La Mesa and brought her home to that house. And it was like in the village, it was literally just one like antique yep. shop after the other. That's right. It's not like that anymore. No, it's not. It's so they've completely revitalized that whole area. Yep. Old, old bookstores and yes. antique shops and escrow and realtor companies, of course. <laughs> um, but a lot of that is gone. You know, the Cohen Group now has a restaurant there, Bobo, which is awesome. Um, there's curbside, there's sushi, there's Mexican, there's breweries, there's Swamis. wineries, there's swamis. Um, and it's kind of growing. You know, the periphery, it's not just La Mesa Boulevard now. Now you have breweries on Commercial Street with all the industrial stuff. Um, there's San Pasquale Winery over there. There's Helix Brewing. There's Bolt Brewing. Um, so there's a lot going on. It's really cool, and it's all fairly walkable and easily accessible. Yeah, the village area really is something. Um, it is. Just from what you're able to to get there, it's very, uh, reminds you of sort of a metro San Diego yeah, feel. Yeah, it does. You know? But, and I've been, I've been begging clients for 10 years that are looking in Kensington and Normal Heights and Talmadge um, and even North Park and South Park and Hillcrest that, like, if you're going to spend a million bucks, go out to La Mesa and get a 12,000 square foot lot and a 3,000 square foot house versus 1,400 square feet on a 6,000 square foot lot. Right. Um, so it's really, you know, the, the difference is tangible. It really is. And we love it. The schools are good. True. Um, you've got Helix High School. You've got Grossmont High School. Helix, a charter school, which people really love. Um, the elementary schools and middle schools are all pretty good. Um, and again, there's very few places where you can walk to get a cup of coffee and dessert and dinner and... Um, go do some shopping. There's massage um, places, you know, there's spas. Um, and all right there. All right there. And I lived on 3rd Street and I would take the dog out for a walk and you could easily make it down, you know, and I was like the farthest part mm -hmm. of, on 3rd Street. Right. You could easily walk down to the village area. Easily. Very easily. So yeah. that, that's why it reminds me of, you know, Metro yep. because it's like, okay, well, you have these you know, craftsman style, mm -hmm. unique. You know, Homes. Super cool. Not track homes. No. Unique stuff, custom stuff. And you're right next to some of the commercial things you might want to do. Yep. Like, go, is, is Johnny B still there? Or what's on oh, the yeah. corner? Oh, yeah. Johnny, Johnny B is still there. There's Sheldon's right across the street. My wife and I and our baby and dog walk there at least twice a week to go get breakfast. It's awesome. Is that the place across the street from Johnny mm -hmm. B's? Right across the street. Okay. It's, it's like a, it looks like an old something. It used to be old gas station. Gas station. Yeah. It turned it into it's a Sheldon coffee shop. Station. Yeah. So it's a coffee shop. They're open like I think seven to two now. It's a great little spot, all outdoor seating, but they have a great menu. Um, it's killer. Yeah. They have great tea there. I remember yeah, the last good couple tea. times I was there. It's it's killer. Really good tea. So you've got all that stuff right there. Now, mm -hmm. so for, from a La Mesa standpoint, let's talk about people who are looking to, to buy there. We're talking about good schools, mm -hmm. we're talking about the village. But La Mesa's not just the village. No. You know, there's, there's more to it than that. La Mesa's huge. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about some of these other areas. Too. Yeah, so you've got La Mesa's really broken up into two parts, which is 91942, and that is kind of Grossmont area, so near Grossmont High School. But that also swings around to the north side of the 8, which is Lake Murray area. And then it also goes over towards Helix High School, and there's a little triangle, which is between La Mesa Boulevard down to 70th Street between El Cajon and University. Um, and there's a bunch of cool streets down there. Little smaller homes, you know, you're more in the 1,000 to 1,500 square foot floor plan. Um, but those are a bunch of cool little streets and it's very quiet. Um, so that's 91942 and then you have 91941, which is most of La Mesa Village and then up into Mount Helix. Um, and, you know, obviously a, a far different, you know, style of home and price point. 
Um, they call Mount Helix the La Jolla of East County. Um, <laughs> but there's some unbelievable mid-century modern and Spanish and some really, really neat homes with big, you know, acre worth of property. Views. Um, views, great views. My wife and I were looking at a house last night for ourselves. Um, and In just, Helix? Yeah, on the backside of Mount Helix. They call it like Horizon Hills, which is kind of back there, looking at El Cap towards the east, um, over the El Cone Valley, and it's, it's cool. There was a really interesting one I saw. Um, I'm always looking in the area. Yeah, always. And, um, I think it's it just just listed for like 1.65 or something like that. But it's like uh, it's like two different units. One has an ADU mm. pool. They both have separate yards. Mm. Maybe you've seen it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I think a new listing. I can't remember the street it's on. It's in Mount Helix. Views. It's like man, this is amazing yeah. opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, this property here. Um, to have all those different units to potentially do an Airbnb oh, or something yeah. like that because yeah. you can Airbnb in yeah. La Mesa. Yep. Um, you're not, you know, guarded by those San Diego restrictions. Yes. Yeah, so you're not in the city of San Diego. You're in the county. So you, you know, you still should get a permit and do things the right way. But of course. You're, you're not going to be all of a sudden. Hey, your car's not going to be taken out from under you like it is in the city of San Diego. We own an Airbnb, and we are 80, 90 percent booked. I mean, That's all crazy. the time. And it's really interesting the demographic. I mean. You have professors coming to, to you know do like a short term stay at San Diego State. We have a lot of like grandparents who their kids live in La Mesa and they maybe just had a kid, so they're coming to stay with their kids to help raise the grandkids for a little bit. Um, we have all sorts of people staying, and it's busy all the time. Wow. Yeah, all the time. That is awesome. It's cool. <laughs> um, I mean, it's very like set up, like it looks like you know a dwell like magazine house. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little 1920s black cottage. Uh, but it's it's awesome and it's the perfect use for it. Yeah, we have know. an airstream in the back that people stay in as well. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. There's just and they can walk to everything right now. Sprouts is right there. And that's then you've true. Got I all forgot the about Sprouts. Yep. It was Henry's when I lived there. That's all. That's I right. It was. Henry's and then went to Boney's. Your Boney's. Yeah. that and now it's Sprouts <laughs> and, and now Sprouts right. is I think nationwide. Yeah, you know, Sprouts huge. right there by the village as well. Right in the village. Um, you know, a lot of people don't talk about it that much, but the, you have a trolley stop right there as well. So if you ever want to mm -hmm. go down to catch a game and get back and you not can have do to it. drive, no yeah. parking. We've done it. Very very easy to easy. do. Um, it's also easy to drive and get in and out of downtown, which is, is cool. Because the 94 never really has traffic. I mean, we go on date nights. We go to the we Uber to the ball game there, and it's. $20 Uber ride and it's 15 minutes. It's easy. Yeah, super, super easy. So yeah. location for La Mesa, not what a lot of, like I would say, like older San Diegans would say, oh, La Mesa is way out yeah. there in the East County. Yeah. No, no, it's right off the 15. That's right. Um, you know, the 15 and the 8 and you're right there. Yeah. So it's not really as far east as people think. You have, you're surrounded by freeways. You have the 125, you can get to the 52 into La Jolla, you can take 8 west to get, you know, all in the central San Diego, and then you've got all the 125 south and everything to get to the south county. Yeah. You can get anywhere in 20 minutes. I know, so interesting. I really think La Mesa is going to hub out at some point. But you said there's some big developments there for units, right? There are, yeah. So they're building, one's completed, um, which is right on La Mesa slash Grossmont Boulevard, and I believe that's 300 units. Um, one, two, and three bedrooms, and it's massive. All um, rentals, right? They're all Rental rentals. for sale? No, nope. and it's, it's not mixed use, it's just rental. Um, and they're renting one bedroom for 2000 and then you get up to 3000 for three bedrooms. Um, and wow. now they're doing another one, um, which is JPI development. Um, that's almost done. That's four stories right in La Mesa Village, and that's 230 units. They wow. will have some retail space in that one, okay. um, but it's on five acres, and it is massive. So that is insane. Whether good or bad, Spring Street and La Mesa Boulevard is going to be very busy. It's great for the business owners that are there. I was going to say, some people may not like that. Some people may not like it because if you're coming and going and you're not used to that, it's going to be the traffic and impact is going to be substantial, I yeah, think. It could um, be. So we're starting to see some of that. But if you own a business in La Mesa Village, you're very happy. Yeah, yeah. And also, they're nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, I think it bodes well long term for I think the so. La Mesa real estate I think market. so too. Yeah, yeah. Because you, know, you get people who live there who come and they stay and they go, you know what, I like it here. Mm -hmm. Let me buy something. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm renting over here. I'm paying a fortune for rent. I like it, mm -hmm. but I could probably buy something here. That's you know, right. if I put my my head together. So I do think that works out well yeah. for for La Mesa real estate long term. I do too. Uh, it doesn't um, as a as a uh, owner of a primary and an investor in the area. I'm not very you know upset about it. Um, but it is going to be busy. Yeah, and, and that always happens. You know, look at what happened in Carmel Valley with one Paseo. That's you know, right. There was a huge, huge history. Uproar, yeah. <laughs> a big uproar. Yeah. Um, and you know, you go there now, and you're like, that's fine. It's not. It's not as big of an impact as I would have thought it was going to yeah. be. Yeah. It's I mean, really not. You know, it, it's, it's fine. Yeah. I think they've added to the area. I think yeah, it's great. Hundred percent. Yeah. And so you know, the knee jerk reaction is always going to be negative mm -hmm. when you're bringing in more people into a place that people love. They yeah. don't. You know, they don't yeah. like that. But Especially listen, apartments. If you're, yeah, if, but if you're in a great place, 
to live. You know, luxury, expensive mm -hmm. rental units coming in is not a bad it's thing. Not, yeah, we're not talking about $1,000 a month for these places. Yeah. I mean, they are higher end. Yeah. Um, and people got to live somewhere, so it's a good thing. And um, it, I don't think it's going to take away from the vibe in La Mesa, which is pretty family, you know, oriented. Um, you have parks everywhere. You have community pools. You have community gardens. So I think it's still going to stay. Yeah, one of the best places to buy real estate and one of the best places to hang out in all of San Diego County. And yeah, Mesa. we love it. California. Well, yep. thanks so much for coming in. Today. Yeah, absolutely. Great thanks for having brother. me. Hey, share this with your friends. Let's help make them smarter than everyone else when it comes to La Mesa real estate.